This is Season 2, Episode 14. Hi, guys and gals. This should be published on Sunday, March 6, 2022. Subscribe, please. Thank you. There will be an extra clip at the end of this film. We will remove the needle thread tension device and replace it using both in situ and complete removal and replacement. Let's get started. We are going to remove this in situ in situation machine. First thing we're going to do is we're going to press in the, the number dial and that will retract from the little pin that's on the inside of that stud. And we'll get the stud off, thumb nut, and then we'll take the, the number dial off. Then we'll take the, the stopwatch. You'll notice it came off with the, the pointed end pointing towards the sewer. We'll put that over there. Then we'll get the beehive spring which is actually called the needle thread tension spring. Then the indicator which comes off before we take the whole tension disc assembly off. And there's the tension disc assembly. We've got the, the spring, the check spring, that is quite often called. We'll put that there. And then we have the, the two discs. We have them. And then we also have the, the thread guard protrusion goes in the hole there. It's all put back together. So that's taking it off. In a little bit we'll take a look at uh, replacing it. This is the screw that loosens the, the needle thread tension stud. Now we can finish it. And there. I was able to pull the whole complex out. So the first thing we have is the tension disc assembly. The tension disc assembly is made up of three items four pieces, three items, the thread take-up spring, which we commonly refer to as the check spring, and then the, the thread guard, which has that 90-degree uh, angle on it, and the two desks. So that's, and those four things built together are called a tension disc assembly. The other thing I want to talk about the tension stud is that it is hollow, and inside is the tension pin which is what gets moved when we pull up or let down the, the lever, the pickup lever, the foot lever, I guess on the presser, <laughs> the pre on the presser bar. So the presser bar lever, <laughs> the presser bar uptake lever. So there's that too. There's the indicator, the plus minus indicator. And that's very important because it has that crossbar which stops that tension pin and and it actually takes the pressure from the tension tension pin and puts the pressure on the spring and you know and releases the the pressure that way. That is a stop washer, so the spring can only go so far. This can only move up or forward so much. So that is a stop washer. There is the dial and the thumb nut. The thumb nut has a, a little prod on it, and uh, that goes in the holes to to set to set the dial. If I remember correctly, they mentioned in the manual somewhere between nine and zero. So that's taken apart and showing us all the different pieces that make up the, the needle thread tension. So that is positioned in there correctly, that pin, that tension stud. Next, we're going to want the spring. And the spring, as we've noticed before, has a turned end down there which allows it to, to align on that. So we're going to want it to sit like that and then the spring is going to hang down like that but in between the space on the spring we need to have one there, another one there, then the thread guard. That is the thread guide. This is the thread guard. There we have the tension disc assembly and this piece here goes in that hole. We've got the little pedestal, the little point, it's in the orifice, the hole. Here's the check spring, it's resting on the check spring rest on the thread guide. Thread guide screw, thread guide is lined up there. And we'll continue. Next is the indicator. There it is, and we can see that the crossbar is in very good shape. This is a metal one or aluminum one or whatever. In the 60s, they got into plastic ones, and that crossbar would break after a while. But uh, these are, are really sturdy, and it goes on that way. 
there. There. Next is the tension spring, what we affectionately refer to as the beehive spring. And again, there's a, a piece so that it can navigate the, the split on the stud. Then after that, we need the, the stop washer. And this little point here, this bent point, has to be facing the sower, has to be facing us, the viewer. So we'll put that on there like, like that. Then we have the number indicator, and we'll place it there like And you can see that the zero is there and the nine is there. Somewhere in that range is suggested by the manuals. So that's why I'm doing that. And then of course we have the, the stud nut, which has this protrusion here, this protrusion here, which fits in the holes. And the way to do that, get this nut on, is to press against the spring, thread that on, and then, then if you need to adjust the tension, that works. I want to tighten it a little more, and there, we're in the zero there. So I'm not going to set it now, we'll do that in another film. But that is on now, and the only other thing we have to do is to tighten this. There it is, it's, it's back, and we expect, we, I am speculating that it's ready for action. And that was a lot of fun. I hadn't done one of those in a while. This movie, at the end of this film clip, in the end notes, uh, I'll put a link to, to where I did this a year ago or whatever when, when this came here first. Uh, helpful hint is what it really is. And it's not that big. I took the, the little screwdriver, uh, the little ratchet and the bits. And my helpful hint today is put them in a uh, in a plastic bag or a magnetic uh, ashtray or magnetic uh, bowl or whatever, these will get lost and the smaller stuff does do. So today's helpful hint, bonus clip, is uh, find a suitable storage unit for it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Stay safe. Have fun.